All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Circle Time. As always, I'm gonna hang for just a minute or two, give everybody a chance to log in. I think I'm actually just a slight bit early today. So, oopsie. I almost ended our circle time. That would have been bad. So welcome, good morning. Welcome, good morning. How are you today? Like I said, as always, we're gonna hang for a couple minutes, give everybody a chance to log in and get here this morning. But welcome. Thank you so much for coming and joining me for circle time today. I can't wait. Um, we have some books as usual. Uh, we have some rhymes. And as always, I have a really fun craft today. I think this one's gonna be really, really cute. I think you guys will like this one. So we're just gonna hang for another minute or so just to give everybody a chance to get here. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are being able to like get outside in the yard and get some fresh air. Um, I take my dogs for a walk every day. So that's how I'm getting outside and getting some fresh air. Um, Cause I'm getting, <clears throat> excuse me, I am getting a little bit sick of my house. It's been, a, it's been a long time and I miss you guys all so much. I can't wait until we can be back together in the library again. So, but in the meantime, I'm so glad you guys come and join me here. Um, welcome. If you want, don't forget to put who's here in the comments because I can see you. Well, I can see your comments. I can't see you guys. You guys can see me though. Um, so we're just going to hang. <clears throat> we'll get started in just a second. Hopefully Miss Emily's voice will stay today. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. I got up and apparently my voice didn't today. So welcome. Good morning. Thank you for coming to circle time today. We're just hanging for another second or so to give everybody a chance to get here. I think I actually started a smidge early today. So we're just gonna hang. Um, I was saying before, we have some fun books today. Uh, we have some rhymes. And of course I have another craft to do today. So I hope you guys will like my craft idea. Um, it should be all things hopefully that you guys have around the house. Um, so you guys should be able to make it with your grown-ups help. Uh, we are doing a little bit more cutting today, so you'll have to have your grown-up help you with your scissors. Um, but other than that, I hope it'll be fun. We're going to hang for another minute or two. Uh, no, not even a minute. Just another second or two. Thank you guys for joining. Like I said, don't forget to put in the comments if you want that you are here. I can see your comments as um, once you type them. And I'm always like to know who came to listen to my story time today. So just another second or two. Give everybody a chance to get here. So what have you guys been doing to stay busy? I know a lot of you have some schoolwork that you're doing from home. Um, are you guys doing anything else fun? Are you spending lots of time with your family? Maybe you're playing some games, maybe watching some movies. Um, that all sounds like fun. I have a lot of friends who are doing puzzles right now. Everybody's like really having fun doing like really big puzzles because they can put it out and keep it out for a while. So are you guys doing any puzzles? That would be really fun to do together with your family. So welcome everybody. Good morning. Welcome to circle time. I'm glad you're here and you found us. We're going to go ahead now and get started. Um, like I said, I can see the comments as you enter them. So if you want to let me know that you're here, let me know that you're here. I always want to know who came to play with me today. So how about this morning, we start off with um, a little rhyme and it's got some actions to it. Um, so <laughs> I'm getting notifications on my phone. So I just want to make sure that wasn't important. Um, I thought it was something from Facebook telling me that like, I wasn't live anymore or something. That'd be bad. All right. So our first rhyme that we're going to do is called Hello Neighbor. So um, there is one part that I'm going to have you jump up and down. And if I jump up and down, you won't be able to see me. So I'm just going to do like this for jump up and down. So you guys can do that too if you want. Or if you actually want to jump up and down a couple times, go ahead. Um, just be careful. All right. So this little rhyme is called Hello Neighbor. So Hello Neighbor, what do you say? 
it's going to be a beautiful day. So clap your hands, clap your hands, and stomp your feet. Can you hear me stomping my feet? Jump up and down, and then have a seat. Oh my goodness, my dog liked it when I when I stomped my feet. He's hanging out down here with me. I can't, I can't get him up here to show you, but he's hanging out down here with me today. He wanted to come for circle time. He likes being red too. Um, so he's hanging out with me today. So why don't we do that one more time and then we'll start our first book, okay? So, hello neighbor. Hello neighbor, what do you say? It's going to be a beautiful day. So clap your hands, clap your hands and stomp your feet. Stomp, 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 stomp. Jump up and down and then have a seat. All right, now we got all of our wiggles out. Are we ready to hear a story? All right, so I'm gonna move over here so I can show you the book. So we're gonna start off this morning with a book called Hungry Bird. And guys, I'm very sorry that the book is still backwards um, because of what I have to do with the camera for the craft. Um, I can't use it, do this on my computer and I can't, I still can't figure out how to flip it. So I'm sorry that, every, that all the words are backwards, but I'll promise I'll read them forward so you can understand. All right. So Hungry Bird. Oh my goodness, look at all of those animals. Looks like they're all packing up, getting ready to do something. So let's find out. Bird and his friends had just set out on a hike when Bird's tummy rumbled. Uh-oh. So let's see, who's all going for the hike today? That looks like there's rabbit and raccoon and sheep and beaver and fox. And there's Bird with the rumbly tumbly. Oh no. I'm getting hungry, said Bird. I need something to eat. The other animals didn't answer. They were too busy enjoying the hike. Hey, Fox, said Bird. Did you pack anything for me to eat? I'm a bit peckish. I brought some yummy berries. Would you like a few? No, thanks, said Bird. Berries are not my favorite. Suit yourself, said Fox. You see Fox offering him some yummy berries. You guys like berries? Bird doesn't think he does. Bird's tummy rumbled louder. Hey, Beaver, said Bird. Have you brought anything delicious to eat? I'm hungry. I have lots of nice crunchy sticks, said Beaver. Oh my goodness, do you think sticks are tasty? Would you like some? Sticks, said Bird. Are you crazy? Birds don't eat sticks. Well, beavers do, said Beaver. Yum. And everybody else is still going. Bird's legs were growing weak. Hey, sheep, said Bird. Have you packed anything tasty? I'm starving. I packed some delicious grass, said Sheep. We could share it. Grass, said Bird. If I think you mean gross, who wants to eat grass? I do, said Sheep. It's scrumptious. Bird could not go one more step. Hey, raccoon, said Bird. Please tell me you've remembered to what I like to eat. I'm ravenous. I have this nice sandwich, said Raccoon. Would you like half? Sandwich, said Bird. Yuck, that sounds disgusting. It isn't, said Raccoon. It's a medley of flavors. Everybody else is still hiking. Oh, can you guys hear my cat in the background? He wants to read the story too. Psst, stop. Bird was sure he was going to pass out from hunger. Hey, rabbit, shouted Bird. Give me something to eat now. How about a carrot, said Rabbit. Carrots are delicious. Carrots are orange, shouted Bird. How on earth can I eat a carrot? You crunch it, said Rabbit, like this. Crunch, crunch, crunch. See, he's crunching the, the carrot. Bird's tummy roared and he collapsed on the ground. Oh no, he's so hungry. He lay where he had fallen. He lay there some more. 
You mean none of you packed a snack that I like? Bird called to his friends. If I don't eat this very instant, I might die. Oh, he's getting angry. Bird's friends had stopped to rest on a log and eat their snacks. They called to him. Bird could barely hear them over his noisy tummy. Be quiet, tummy, whimpered Bird. I'm starving to death here. Bird looked at his friends, happily munching away. He was too hungry to walk. He crawled over to them. Okay, fine, I'll try your snack, said Bird. He tasted some berries. These taste very round. He nibbled some sticks. Crunchy. He chewed some grass. I feel like a sheep. Bird tried the sandwich. It's not as disgusting as I thought. He even ate a carrot. Hmm, not bad. It does taste orange, but I like it. Just then, Fox spotted something wriggling in the grass. Bird, he said, your favorite, a worm. No thanks, said Bird. I'm thirsty. Who brought me a drink? And all the other animals go, oh, man. Ugh, Bird sounds like he was having a heck of a day. Oh, my goodness. All right. So let's do another rhyme. This rhyme is called Five Spotted Cows. Okay? So we'll do it through twice just so you guys can um, try it with me the second time, but I'll do it the first time. So five spotted cows standing in a line. The first one said, oh boy, I'm feeling fine. The second one said, how do you do? The third one said, moo, 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 moo. The fourth one said, I'm grazing in the grass. The fifth one said, I'm full at last. You can rub your belly. So the cows stood together and said, we're, th we're through. Now let's take a bow and all say moo. Okay, that one's a silly one. You guys want to try that again? All right, so five spotted cows standing in a line. The first one said, oh boy, I'm feeling fine. The second one said, how do you do? The third one said, moo, 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 moo. The fourth one said, I'm grazing in the grass. The fifth one said, I'm full at last. So the cows stood together and said, we're through. Now let's take a bow and all say, moo. <laughs> That's a silly one. I like, I like song rhymes where you have to make animal noises. So let's go ahead and read our next book. This book is called Cindy Moo. It is by Lori Mortensen and illustrated by Jeff Mack. Look at that cow. She looks kind of silly. Wonder what she's doing so high up in the air. Let's find out. So Cindy Moo. So it starts off here. You see she's hanging out outside the house and she's listening to the book to the person read the book. And the person reading the book says, Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The, the dog, the, oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. You guys all know that rhyme, right? And uh-oh, Cindy Lou listened and she might have an idea. Hmm, let's see what she's up to. Over at the diddle farm, a little bit past eight, all the cows heard a nursery rhyme that caused a great debate. Diddle cows stood in the barn and listened to each word about the cow that jumped the moon, amazed at what they heard. Across the moon, said Buttercup. No way, said Honeybun. The moon's too high and much too far. It simply can't be done. As the cow scoffed at the thought, a voice rose loud and true. Why can't a cow jump to the moon? That voice was Cindy Moo's. The cows began to argue. Each took a different side. But in the end, they all confessed that none of them had tried. 
So Cindy Moo raised up a hoof and said that it was true. If that cow could jump the moon, by golly, I can too. See Cindy Moo there? Whoops. As Cindy Moo waltzed to the field, the others gathered round. She jumped that moon with room to spare in one grand bovine bound. She pawed her hooves, she shook her head, she ran and picked up speed, and with a mighty moo, she jumped across a prickly weed. Ow. Told you so, said Honey Bun. Too bad, said Buttercup. Cows weren't meant to jump the moon. Why don't you just give up? But Cindy Moo ignored her friends. She'd made a solemn vow. She jumped across the silver moon as soon as she knew how. The next night after graving, grazing, she caught a stunning sight. The moon was perched up on the hill, a ball of silver light. Mindy, Cindy Moo let out a snort and charged up to the top. When she reached the grassy peak, she skidded to a stop. Oh no, she almost fell off. Instead of staying on the hill, much to her surprise, the moon flew off the grassy ridge back up to star-filled skies. Cindy Moo plopped on the ground. Would it be for naught? Jumping to the moon, she said, is harder than I thought. Back inside the barn that night, the worst of all came true. Rain clouds swept the moon away. Now what was she to do? She couldn't jump what wasn't there. Perhaps the herd was right. The moon and cows would never mix, not then or any night. She looks kind of sad looking at that rain. But late that night when raindrops stopped, she peeked outside and found the moon had slipped down to the earth upon rain-soaked ground. What? How did the moon get on the ground? Cindy Moo kicked up her heels and raced with all her might. And with a happy moo, she jumped across the moon that night. And let's see, if I do it here, can you guys see? What moon did she jump over? See, here's the moon in the sky. She jumped over the moon on the ground. The puddle is reflecting the moon, and that's what she jumped over. Her friends came out and marveled much. Ms. Moo, you've done it now. A cow can really jump the moon. As long as she knows how. Oh, look, they're all celebrating. And ever since that rainy night, the cows do not debate. Whenever rain clouds pass their way, and it is growing late, they gaze upon that puddled moon and jump it two by two. And guess who leads the diddle herd? See the gal cows jump in the moon down here? And who leads the cows? Of course, it's Cindy Moo. Oh my goodness. What a silly cow Cindy Moo is. But she managed to jump the moon. It was just in her own way. So are you guys ready for our craft now? Um, I think you're going to like it. I just have to get my doggy to move. Hold on. Come on, Wiley, move. He wants to do a craft too. So I'm going to come in closer. And I'm going to turn my camera around. Hopefully, there we go. All right, so let's go here. That should work. All right, so you may have caught a glimpse of it when I turned my camera around, but here is our craft for today. We're going to make, let's see if I do it here. There we go. Okay, we're going to make a, um, a toilet paper roll cow. Okay, so. I think he looks really cute. And if you um, make him right, he may stand up. My cow is kind of lazy and doesn't want to stand up. So to make this, you're going to need a toilet paper roll. You're going to need some markers, some glue, some scissors. And this is where you'll need your grown-ups to help with the scissors. And then some white paper. Um, if you guys have construction paper, that would probably be better and help him stand up. Unfortunately, I don't have any construction paper 
So um, that's kind of why my cow's a little floppy and a little sleepy today. Um, but if you have construction paper or like other heavy duty paper, that would probably be work out really well. In the meantime, you'll just have a floppy cow. All right, so um, you may want to have your, have your grown-ups help you with the first part. I'm going to move them over. So you're going to start off and put your toilet paper roll right in the middle of your piece of paper. And then you're going to take either a marker or a pencil, whatever works. And you want to make a little mark on this side. So you guys can see I made a mark there. And then I'm going to come over here and I'll try to keep my hand out of the way so you can see. And I'm going to make a mark here and I did it right up against this, the edge of the toilet paper roll. So now I know how long the toilet paper roll is. So then the next thing you need to do, keep, keep in your, your roll straight. If you pull the piece of paper up, and let's see if I can get this to show for you guys. There we go. So I have the piece of paper up. I'm going to take the, the my marker and lay it against the the roll and I'm going to make a little mark on that side of the paper and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold it up. Oops. There we go. And make a little mark. All right, so now we know how wide we need our cow to be. So then, um and you guys can get creative if you if you um are brave enough. I don't know that Miss Emily uh, was brave enough. So I've been practicing um, just with drawing like some straight lines. But I was doing some straight lines here because now we're going to draw the body of the cow. And from this line, we can just go straight down and we can go straight up. I like to go all the way to the edge of the paper. And I'm going to do this line all the way down, all the way to the edge of the paper. And then all the way up and it doesn't have to be perfect um we're gonna cut this out and we're gonna make it look good um so like if you guys are feeling adventurous you could maybe draw um an oval here instead of a square you could try to do some interesting things with the legs but for now i'm just going to make it a square okay so now it's hard to see that that looks like a cow but maybe that's a cow gone splat you see how that works out maybe so then once you have this all together, you can um, start to draw some spots and color them in and you can make spots however you want. Um, <clears throat> you can make them kind of all different shapes like a cow, like obviously like a cow, you could make po a polka dot cow. If you really wanted, you can make a cow that has flowers or spirals, whatever you like. Um, so here's another one that I started already. So I think he needs one more spot over here. I like to give my cows different shape spots. So I'm going to finish coloring that in. All right. So now I've got my splat cow body. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my scissors and this is when you need your grown ups help. We're going to cut out our cow body. So I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to cut right along. And I'm going to cut along here. And then I have to cut out this part. And cut here. And remember, like I said, make sure you have your grown-up to help you with the scissors. You don't want to cut yourself. And then we're going to do one more cut or one more cut out here. And cut across. And there we go. Does it look like a cow body yet? What do you think? Does that kind of look like a cow body? I think so, maybe a little bit. All right. So then once we're done with the cow body, then if you guys noticed, my cow has a little tail. So I drew and cut out another tail. So you can see I gave him like a little tuff on the tail. He does have some more spots on his tail. Um, you can make the tail as big or as small as you want. If you guys have some string or some yarn, maybe you could glue some on so he has a fuzzy tail. But I, I cut out his tail. So now we have a body and we have a tail. And our cow needs a face, huh? 
So here's a face that, I, um, that I'm almost done drawing. I did his eyes and his ears and some of his spots, but you know what? I think maybe he might need another spot here. I don't know why. I think he does. So you can see I just kind of drew kind of like a head shape or maybe sort of like a triangle shape. And then I just drew in the face. I used kind of a peachy color for his snout or his nose, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can use whatever color you want. You don't even have to make your cow black and white. You could make your cow hot pink or green, whatever you think would look good. So our cow needs a nose. He doesn't have a nose yet. So I'm going to finish that up. I'm going to draw a nostril here and a nostril here. And now he can breathe. And now I'm going to give him a smile and he's a happy cow. What do you think? How does that look? All right. So we're getting close. We're going to need our scissors again and get your grown up to help. Now we're going to cut out the head. I'm just got to be very careful around his ears. And I drew his ears ahead of time, like you saw, and I drew his ears kind of flopping down because I was like, I was thinking that owls or cows kind of had floppy ears. And then I actually looked at a picture of a cow and their ears kind of stick straight out to the sides. So if you want to look at a picture of a cow with their ears sticking out to the side, um, totally do that. Miss Emily just was being kind of silly. She thought she knew what cow's ears looked like, and apparently she didn't. It's been a long time since I've seen a cow in person and been up close to it. Have you guys been up to a, up close to a cow? It's been a long time for me. Um, probably last spring I went to the zoo, and part of the zoo had a cow, and I got to pet the cow. She was very, very friendly. All right, so now we're all done cutting out. So I've got my face, I've got my tail, and I've got my splat body. All right, so what we're going to do now is now you need your glue stick. We're going to turn the body upside down. And on this middle part here, we want to give it a good go over with the glue stick. So we're just going to go up and down and up and down. Oops. Make sure you have your, your grown-ups help to do this. And then you're going to take your toilet paper roll and you're going to plop it right in the middle. Give it a little push to make sure it sticks. And then you're going to fold up the paper. So fold it up and give it a little pat to make sure it's going to stick. Fold it up, give it a little rub. We'll rub the cow's back. There you go. Now it's starting to look more like a cow. So what you could do now to try to help him stand up is to fold the ends of his legs under a little bit. This kind of helps make like little feet that if you have heavier paper, it might help him stand up a little bit better. And then if you want, and once you have it folded, you could come back and you could see like my cow has some hooves on his feet. You could color in some hooves. I'm only gonna do one right now. So I'm just gonna give him a hoof and I could go through and I could give them all. But I'm just going to do that. Okay. So now let's see if this guy, nope, this guy isn't going to stand up either. Oh my goodness. Maybe. No. <laughs> what a silly cow. You guys can practice, move your, your paper around, see if you can get them to stand up. Um, so now we have a whole cow body with some legs and whatever, and now we need a face. So the way I was doing this was I stuck my cow. So he's looking straight up, turn the face over, Put some glue on the face and just to make sure it sticks really well, I put a little bit of glue on the, the edge of the paper towel or the paper, the toilet paper roll. And then I figure out where I want his face to go and I stick it on and give him a little press. And you know what I actually did before? I kind of turned him upside down and kind of gave him a little pat that way. And there we go. Now he's got his face on and he needs one more thing. He needs his tail. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of glue on the tail and stick it on. And then if you want, you can kind of give it a little fold so that it hangs down. Not quite that much fold, but there we go. So I stuck his tail on and now he's got his tail. And now there we go. We have our cow. And what you guys could even do if you wanted, um, you could draw, if you wanted to make like Cindy Moo, 
I don't know if you guys noticed, but Cindy Moo has a bow in her hair. You guys could draw and cut out a bow and put a bow in the hair. You can maybe make him wear a hat. You could cut out a, like a baseball hat, make your cow wear a hat. You could do all kinds of fun stuff with this crazy cow. Okay. So I hope you guys um, will try to make a cow if you want. Um, you can always post it. You can send it to us um, through a private message on Facebook, through the messenger. You can post it on Instagram and tag us. We would love to see if you guys are doing all of the crafts um, that I've been doing lately. So there's my Cindy Moo. Hopefully, I want to see your guys Cindy Moo who? Cindy Moo too. That's like a tongue twister. All right, so I'm going to real quick just do this. There we are. All right, guys. So that is it for me today. Oh, I'm really up close. I hope you like me. Um, I hope you guys had fun. And I will see you guys all next week. Bye-bye.